Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm on a Mergy Rail, class 507, number 50708. And we are on our way to Ellesmere Port. But we're not actually going to Ellesmere Port, it's not a final destination. We're going to Hellsby. There's not many trains to Hellsby from Ellesmere Port. There's only one free a day. It's a parliamentary service. It's not always been like that because the Mersey Rail runs a fairly regular service from here up to Liverpool. But what used to happen was there used to be a fairly regular service between Hooton and Hellsby, stopping at Ellesmere Port. And then what happened? When they decided to make this section of the line part of the Mersey Rail network, they electrified it, they cut back the other side. So not many trains go beyond there. As I said, there's only three a day. So there's two early in the morning and um, there's this one now at, it's about, well, we're just pulling into Ellesmere Port now and we're due to arrive at six o'clock and I think the train goes out at about 19 minutes past six, so, and I've never been here before so I'm not quite sure how it's going to be. It looks like it's a two-platform station. I'll have a better look when we get off. So there's quite a few people waiting here but I very much doubt any of them are going to be going in the direction I'm going. There's not even that many people on this train. There's only ever one, one other person in this carriage. So here we are. We are at Ellesmere Port. I'm just waiting for the doors to open. There we go. Now, if we go up here, we can see where we've, where we're going to go. So here's our unit. It's unusual in that you've got an electric platform on this side and a non-electrified platform on the other side. Looking that way. It's a semaphore signal, so it's got quite an old-fashioned appearance. Um, on that side, there's some tower blocks, so it's fairly gives us a very urban feeling. There's also the old goods shed has survived. I believe this line opened in 1863. So what we'll do, we'll go up to the other end because it looks like we have to do that to get to the other platform. And just have a look at the station, and then we'll wait for our northern train to come. So it's um, we're finished with Mersey Rail now for today. And then we're going to get to Hellsby on the northern train. Haven't got that much longer to enjoy the 508s and the 507s. They're all due to come out of service soon when they're replaced by these new Stadler units. Nice station building with Dutch gables. So there's an exit to the station there. I'm going up here over the bridges. So the footbridge is entirely for the rail, I think, is it? Oh no, you can get out that way. My guess is, I might be wrong, that bridge looks sort of certainly more recent than the railway. Wouldn't like to guess exactly when, but definitely more recent than the railway. So I expect there was probably a level crossing here once. So I can get out the station that way, but that's not my plan. I'm going to go down here and get the Hellsby train. What I'll do is I'll wait up here rather than wait on the platform. So I want to see the northern unit come in and see the northern diesel unit and the electric Mersey's rail unit side by side. So it means the Mersey Rail units can only use this platform, but the Northern Rail units, I suppose, could use both platforms. Can't, although there's no starting signal at that end, but the track is... Yeah, I am, actually, yeah. <laughs> Someone just asked me if I'm a YouTuber. Um, so, we're going to wait for our train to arrive. We'll see both of them together. While we're up here, that is the old station hotel. There's the tower blocks, there's a new building, new flats under construction there, so let's wait and see what happens. I'm not sure if this train waits for the Northern Rail unit to arrive, so if people can make the connection, like I'm making the connection in that direction, it'd be interesting to see if people can make the connection in the opposite direction, and it's also going to be interesting to see how many people actually use this service.
So, the Mersey Rail unit has departed. I'm now the only person at this station. Very lonely, completely all to myself. I'm the only one here. It's a nice station building. Looks like it's in use of offices. As I was saying about all the distilleries, there's some artwork on this side. You can see there's a cooling tower and tower, so we'll see all that from the train. And there's a drawing of a class 150, 211. It'd be funny if that 150 actually did turn up, although I think that one is probably one of the Transport for Wales 150s. So um, it probably won't be that one. It's going to be interesting though to see what kind of train it is. It could be anything, any what Northern Run really. It could, so it could be a Pacer, it could be a 150, it could be a 156, might be a 158, I somehow don't think it will be. It could also be one of the new class 195, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait too much longer. Maybe I might be able to see it. No yellow line on this platform because if nothing ever comes through here, um, there's no need to say please stand behind the yellow line. Might as well walk to the end of the platform and have a look at the semaphore signal before we depart and hopefully our train will arrive very soon. I can see quite a few signals in the distance. I, can, I could see a signal box when I was up on the bridge, so it's um, quite exciting this. And uh, so far looks like I might be the only person. It'd be interesting to see if we pick anyone up at any of the two intermediate stations. I was also looking at what the diagram for the stock is. It runs empty from Chester, presumably after working a train from there, and then it goes empty to Allerton Depot afterwards. I've just noticed the cooling tower that we saw in the picture. So, there is the semaphore signal, the upper quadrant semaphore signal. On that side there's an interesting sign that says electric trains stop here, because if they didn't stop there, they might be able to coast on a bit further, but there's no further rail. So, yeah, electric trains don't go any further that way. Just got to wait now for this train to arrive. The train's coming. It's, it's class 156. I like 156s. They're probably my favourite type of sprinter unit. Ravenglass and Estelle Railway, class 156. Now, that's also quite funny because when I did my Miniature Railway Britain series, we started off at Chester Station. We saw this unit in the bay platform, so it sat there all day, and now it's come here to work this service. So I'm going to go and get on it. So off we go. I am the only passenger. I have a whole train to myself, so I don't have to worry about, you know, whether to sit at this table or this table or whether I get a window seat. It's, it's quite exciting. It's like my own little charter train and um, I'm the only person. So this is a parliamentary train for you. know what I'm looking forward to, to seeing is how many people get on off or off at the immediate stage in the intermediate stations. Um, there's quite a lot of new houses built along here and um, but obviously none of the people who live there want to travel in this direction. It feels a bit like going on a goods line because all the Badlias are hitting the sides of the trains. We're just doing the crossover now. So we're now... I don't know if we can call this up or down because we're not really heading to or from London. So, um, I said about a signal box. It's just, I'm just crossing the canal. And there's that signal box, Ellesmere Port, number four. So, I'll, um, I'll do a little update. Each station we pass through, see what we see. rather a surreal landscape we're passing, just chimneys everywhere and oil pipes and there's a few cooling towers. It's, um, it's quite an interesting journey, it's certainly different. 
we just realised that we're coming up now to Stanlow and Thornton. This is a very quiet station. Only 92 people used it last year, so that is, well, less than one a day. It's not even quite two a week. It's, it's, I assume the people who use it must be workers at the distillery, so sort of not distillery, refinery. We'll go up to Scotland and we'll do a video on distilleries another day. So here's Stanlow and Thornton. It's a very ghostly atmosphere of the station. I can't see anyone is on the platform, so it looks as though I'm still the only passenger. I did wonder, the fact there's two early morning and one at this time, if any of the, the people use the trains to get to work. It's possible they might do, I don't know, but um, it is Saturday today, so I suppose that might have something to do with it, but yeah, it's very, very strange. Now, I think we're just waiting to go, yep. We have permission to depart. So it's funny, I'm actually outnumbered by staff because I'm the one passenger and there's two staff, there's a driver and a guard, so yeah. It's, um, I like these quirks though, the fact they do run these ghost trains or parliamentary trains, whatever you, you want to call it. It's um, usually, they're like this, they only get a few people like me, they get very few genuine users and then if they ever do stop running them, like when they stopped running the Paddington to West Rice train, suddenly every enthusiast went on it because they wanted chance to do the last trip. I did it back in, they replaced that one with a South Ryslip to West Ealing train. I did it back in the summer, I didn't make a video and there were seven of us on it. It was me and my girlfriend and there was five other enthusiasts so it was, it was quite funny, it was actually busy for once but today it really is me on my own. Pulling into Ince and Elton, this station's in a cutting, you can see the bare rock outside. Now again, I didn't see anyone on the platform, so I'm assuming no one is going to get on. Now, unfortunately what I've done today, today's ticket isn't actually contributing at all to the passenger numbers because what I've got is a Cheshire Day Ranger. So it's brilliant for doing the We're All Lines off Mersey Rail and I can do south of Liverpool. I can't go up to um, Southport or Omskirk, but I can do various lines between Liverpool and Manchester and the Wirral, including this one. So what I thought I'd do one day is if I could find a way of getting to Ince and Elton, I'll, I'll buy a return from here to Stanlow and Thornton. So I could go on this train, get out of Stanlow and Thornton and wait for this train to come back. Just to, you know, this, this has a few more passengers than stand and forth. There's even look barrow crossing there, so passengers are still permitted to walk across the track, which is another thing which is becoming very rare in Britain. So now I'm just going to enjoy the last couple of miles to Hellsby and we'll see what happens there. From there the train goes empty up to the depot, so we'll we'll get a probably a slightly busier train I should think from Hellsbury where I won't be the only person. So we are now approaching Hellsby. They just said all change. They might as well have said the one passenger change. And it's so strange being the only passenger.
we saw the class 156 depart. I just wanted to finish the video by having a little look around the station garden. It's, um, as I said, it's a really pleasant station. So you can see the junction thing, what we've got, the Dutch Gable buildings. We've got, I'd love to go up there, see the view. And there's this, you know, I wish more railway stations could have gardens. It just makes them, you know, a bit more exciting and, you know, it makes them not just a place to get on the train, but, you know, makes them actually a nice place that people, you know, want to visit. It's a little garden through, through here. Things like um, things like bird feeders. That's cool. So yeah, with more railway stations had gardens, it seems to be a bit of a thing that's dying out. Anyway, there's some overgrown sidings there, more seven four signals, and there's the view of the station. So hope you enjoyed our trip on the ghost train from Ellesmere Port. Thank you very much for watching.